Metal Gear! Top five moments! Yeah! Hey guys, Brazzle the Gamer. Wanted to talk about my top five memorable moments in the Metal Gear series. The first time you fight Metal Gear Rex, the music builds up to this ominous but stirring theme, and you are in a fight for your life against a monstrosity that can't be dented with any conventional weapons. I remember wondering how the hell I was supposed to defeat this thing, and running around aimlessly until I remembered to call Hal Emmerich. Shoot the Ray Dome! Then watch helplessly as it doesn't work. Then the cyborg ninja jumps in to save the day. The entire sequence was thrilling. This was hilarious to me when I first saw it. My uncle was playing the game and had the dual shot controller in a Symphony of the Night save game on his memory card. I love how Psycho Mantis intentionally breaks the fourth wall here and asks you to lay your controller on the floor, nice and flat, so he can move it with his mind. These types of moments are why I love the Metal Gear series. I was never too into James Bond or other spy movies, but Metal Gear Solid 3's intro sequence still brought back memories to the ones I had seen growing up. The intro scene is so perfectly done and calls back to those cheesy Bond intros incredibly well. The lyrics are a bit silly in some places, but hey, it's Metal Gear. What do you expect? I still love this song, and I wish my local karaoke bars would pick it up. Who doesn't want to hear someone belt out Snake Eater on a night out? Metal Gear Solid 2 is released right before the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday break. I was a senior in high school. I went out and purchased the game on day one and stayed up all night playing it. I finished the entire game in one sitting while my brother, my cousins, and my uncle were playing tabletop RPGs. I was completely taken by surprise that I wouldn't be playing a Solid Snake. We made fun of all the sappy dialogue between Raiden and Rose. I marveled at the excellent gameplay changes. When I got to the point where the colonel goes nuts and starts telling you to turn off the PlayStation 2, my family tried to convince me that I was going crazy and that the game was talking to me. It was a lot of fun. Probably the one thing that made Metal Gear, well, Metal Gear to me was David Hayter as Solid Snake. His portrayal as Big Boss was really cool as well, but there are a bit of personality differences between the two characters, and I think after a bit of reflection, I'm okay with the switch to Kiefer Sutherland in Metal Gear Solid 5. Had Hideo chosen to replace Hater for the role of Solid Snake, I would have been pissed. David Hater is Solid Snake, and his portrayal is perfection. That's it for my top five memorable moments in the Metal Gear series. Why don't you guys go ahead and respond? Leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite Metal Gear moment is, or the best memory that you have playing Metal Gear, or whatever, just something related to Metal Gear. And, you know, shoot it my way. Via comments, shoot me a response video, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook, anything like that. Just uh, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Later.